Thanks for watching WCCO, also streaming on CBSN Minnesota. In just the last few hours, we learned one of the most well-known champions of women's rights has died. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away this evening, surrounded by family in Washington, D.C. WCCO's Pat Kessler takes a look at her life and legacy. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a star in the legal world, but most Americans learned her name in 1993 when President Bill Clinton tapped her for the Supreme Court. I, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, do solemnly swear. Poised and soft spoken, she was a native New Yorker with a stellar resume and only the second woman ever picked for the nation's highest court. But decades earlier, after graduating from Columbia Law School, Ginsburg had to fight her way along the career path. She had the full support of her husband, Martin. But being Jewish, a woman, and a mother, she said, were three strikes that put her out of the game. Rejected by law firms, she took a job as a law clerk, then a professor, in the 1970s, she started the Women's Rights Project at the ACLU. Having experienced discrimination, she devoted the next 20 years of her career to fighting it. Ginsburg took on a series of landmark cases dealing with gender equality. She argued six cases before the Supreme Court and won five. And she welcomed President Clinton's nomination, not just as a personal achievement, but as a step forward for women. It contributes to the end of the days when women, at least half the talent pool in our society, appear in high places only as one at a time performers. Ginsburg was one of the high court's more liberal voices, consistently supporting civil rights. And she issued a strong dissent in the Bush versus Gore case, which decided the 2000 election. But she also voted with her conservative colleagues. She called the late Antonine Scalia her best buddy. And the two put ideology aside to share their love of opera and adventure. But she raised a political flap during the 2016 presidential race when she called Republican Donald Trump a faker. She later said she regretted her remarks but stopped short of an apology. Ginsburg has had several health scares. In 2018, doctors removed two growths from her lungs, causing her to miss six days in court. She survived colon cancer and two incidents involving pancreatic cancer. Her refusal to step down and her unparalleled work ethic earned her pop culture icon status. It was beyond my wildest imagination that I would one day become the notorious RBG. <laughs> Ginsburg lost her husband in 2010 after 56 years of marriage, but she was back in court a few months later for what she called an exhilarating development when Elena Kagan joined her and Sonia Sotomayor on the high court. Another milestone for the women's movement, which Ginsburg helped pioneer. Pat Kessler, WCCO 4 News. Almost immediately after the news broke, the country began to mourn. This right here is a live look outside the Supreme Court in Washington, D.C., where the crowd is growing steadily there tonight, lighting candles and chanting Justice Ginsburg's initials, RBG.